had a sister-in-law that passed away last March, and you know that's what she did. She, yes, she fell asleep, and, and she never woke up. You know, death is certain, and life is unsure. Amen. But we can make our, our final destination sure if we choose this day whom we shall serve. And, you know, I'm thankful that I served... I serve a living God. Hey. My God's not dead. He's still alive. Right. And, uh, you know, he's the same. And, you know, he's blessed you in the past, and he'll bless you in the future because that's just who he is. Amen. He's a blessing God. He's an on-time God. Amen. He's where we need oh, to start yes. and yes. where we need to end our days. And, you know, I just praise the Lord that he's always with us, and he Amen. never leaves us, and he never forsakes us. That's he right. says... If we be content with what ye have, he'd never leave us nor forsake us. So if you're content to stay with God, he's more than content to stay with you. Praise Thank the you Lord. Lord. Amen. Praise God. Yes, the Lord is a good God. Amen. Besides him, there is no other. Praise God. Amen. If you want to go with me, uh, amen, to the uh, ninth chapter of 1 Corinthians, um, we'll uh, be preaching from the uh, 24th through the 27th verse of the uh, ninth chapter of 1 Corinthians. Amen. I love 1 Corinthians. Amen. Uh, Brother Paul, amen, taught some good things out of, out of uh, the Corinthian letter to, uh, amen, to the, the letter to the Corinthians. Amen. Amen. And uh, we'll start reading right there at the 24th verse. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Uh, if you're running this race tonight, amen, you're running. And you're running with a whole lot of other people, amen. And we're running all together, praise God, amen. It says they all run all, amen. They, they run all, praise God, but one receiveth the prize, amen. So run that you may obtain, amen, that you may win, praise God, amen. And every man that striveth for the mastery, amen, is temperate in all things uh, amen uh, you're going to be temperate you're going to be patient uh, in all things amen because you're striving for the mastery amen you're striving for uh, to master amen something amen uh, amen and Paul goes on to tell you exactly what that is uh, amen is striving for the mastery amen to bring yourself into subjection unto God uh, amen that's exactly uh, amen the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds amen the strongholds in your life amen bringing into captivity every thought amen and imagination amen into the obedience of God amen everything that exalted itself against God amen every high thought every evil thought every, every temptation amen when the tempter comes amen you're going to strive amen Amen, for the mastery, and you're going to bring those things into obedience. Uh, amen, into the obedience of Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So we are, are, are striving for the mastery. Amen. Amen. Uh, having self-control. That's what that's all about. Amen. Temperate. Amen. Temperate in all things. Uh, amen. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we... Woo, hallelujah, amen, I'm glad he put that in there, amen, but we, amen, we do it, amen, as uh, winning an incorruptible crown, thank God. He said, "There, uh, I therefore so run, I'm going to run, praise God, I'm in a hurry, I, amen, uh, they had a song out not too long ago, well, a few years back, amen, I'm running, I'm running, 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 running down the king's highway, I'm in a hurry, see, Amen. Praise God. Jesus' mother said, whatever he tells you to do it, do it quickly. Praise God. Amen. Don't you put it off. Don't you procrastinate. Amen. You better get right today. You better do it today. You better strive for the mastery today. Amen. You better uh, get that body under control. You better get some self-control about you. Amen. Praise God. Before the Lord comes back and finds you unprepared. Uh, amen. You got to be prepared. Amen. This is a, a preparation place. This is where you get ready. Amen. The bride has to make herself ready. You got to make yourself ready. Amen. Praise God. You got to keep yourself unspotted from the world. Mm, don't get me preaching now. 
Amen. Praise God. Amen. I, I, sometimes I can't quit. Uh, that, he might just have to take me off the air. If I, amen. If I start preaching too long. Amen. Uh, I, I know uh, he, we probably have till about five till eight. Amen. But we're going to try and get as much uh, uh, of this word in as we can. All right. I therefore so run not as uncertainly. See, I, I, I'm not running uns, an uncertain kind of race. Amen. I know exactly who I'm serving. <laughs> Do you know who you're serving? Praise God. Amen. Job did. Job said, I know in whom I believe. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah, praise God. You got to know that you know who you're serving, praise God. Amen, you got to know who you believe in, what your belief system is. Uh, amen, if it's wrong, then you need to change it, amen. You need to strive for the mastery, amen, and be temperate in all things and not as uncertainly. So fight I, amen, not as one that beateth the air. You know, you ever see anybody fight like that, you know? Uh, they're not trained to box. They're not trained to land a blow. Amen. They're shadow boxing. Yeah, they're they're just hitting at nothing. Amen. But I'm gonna land. I'm gonna land a shot right up against the devil's jaw. That's what I want to do. Praise God. I, I'm not fighting an uncertain uh, fight. Amen. I I'm not running an uncertain race. <laughs> Glory to God, but I'm running a race, uh, amen, with patience, laying aside every weight and sin that doth so easily beset me. Whew. Oh, I feel like shouting, amen, going to have me one of them fits here in a minute. <laughs> going to lose all my dignity, amen, praise God. All right, but he said, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not as one of those who shadow boxes and just beats the air, you know, and, and never lands a blow. Amen. I, I'm fighting a foe that I know. Amen. That, uh, amen. He's a loser already. He, he, he is not the victor. Amen. We are victorious through Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. He causes us to triumph. He said we are more than conquerors. Praise God. Amen. Don't you know that tonight? Amen. You're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. But he said, but I keep my body, I keep under my body, amen, and bring it into subjection. Praise God. You got to bring your body into subjection, young lady. Amen, young man. You got to bring your body into subjection to the laws of God. Oh, wait a minute, preacher. I thought the law was done away with. No, the law was not done away with. It was fulfilled in Christ. Amen. Praise God. And Jesus said, if you keep my commandments, then you are my disciples indeed. Oh, yeah. Amen. Praise God. You got to bring your body into subjection. Lest by any means, which I have, when I have preached to others, I myself should become a castaway. Oh, that blows U.E.S. right out of the water. It, there it goes. It's just right out of here. There it goes. Unconditional eternal security is out the door, out the window. Boom, it's gone. Amen. Uh, there is no such thing as a once in grace, always in grace. You'll not find it in the lids of this Bible. Not in my Bible, you won't. Amen. Praise God. He said, after I preach to others, I myself can become a castaway because I'm not running the race. Uh, amen. I'm not running it with patience. I'm not laying aside every weight and sin that does so easily beset me. I'm just beating the air. I, I, I'm not landing any blows for the kingdom of God. Amen. You've got to land some blows right upside the devil's head. Whoop, upside the head. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I barely scratched the surface on there, but Paul uh, was making reference to the Isthmian Games, of course, a kind of Greek Olympics, uh, which happened every two years. And in those games, there was one winner. Oh, but honey, praise God, in this race that we're running, amen, uh, you know, they won one prize. Amen, praise God. Just one of them won the prize, amen, just one of them. But if, if you're saved tonight and you're on your way to heaven, you're a winner, praise God. There are going to be a bunch of winners up there, hallelujah. Ah, uh, Yes, because they've learned, uh, amen, they've exercised, uh, amen, and brought their bodies into subjection. They've exercised their faith. Uh, now, bodily exercise won't profit you nothing, amen. You can build up the muscles all you want to, amen, but they ain't going to do you no good on judgment day, 
Woo, you ain't going to fight God and think you're going to win. <laughs> Amen. Praise God because he'll either say, uh, uh, come. Uh, Amen. Enter into the joys of the Lord that was prepared for you from the foundations of the earth. Or he'll say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. Amen. And I wondered how that could be so. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. You better read Ezekiel 3. Uh, you better turn over there right now. If you got your Bible with you right now, you better turn over to Ezekiel 3 because if, uh, if a man sin, uh, amen, and we refuse to warn him, uh, amen, that you sin not, uh, amen, that you don't sin, uh, amen, if we tell them, uh, amen, then we warn them, amen, and they die in their sin, then we have delivered our soul. Again, it says, uh, again, uh, amen, if a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness, amen, and starts committing sin, amen, the Bible said if we don't warn him, amen, and he dies in his sin, then the righteousness which he had done shall not be remembered. That's why they'll stand on that day and they'll say, Lord, Lord, did I not prophesy in your name? Did I not in your name cast out devils and did many wonderful works? And the Lord said, wait a minute, I didn't know you. Mm. Amen. Because all the good works you done won't be remembered. Not anymore. Huh? Amen. You better listen to me. Turn over to 1 Peter 2, 19, 20, 21. Read that. All right. Anyway, before I start meddling and hurt y'all's feelings. <laughs> Amen. All right. Let me get on down through here. It says, if you've been born again, you are in a race. Amen. And you'll receive a prize, a prize of eternal life. Amen. Praise God through Jesus Christ our Lord who has made us more than conquerors. Thank God. So run. Let's get in a hurry about this thing. Praise God. Let's run. Let's run up the king's highway. Run and run and run and I'm in a hurry. Running up the king's highway. Thank God. Ah, oh, yes. Amen. Ah, oh, praise God. Amen. We must persevere. Amen. He that endures to the end. That's what Jesus said. You ain't saved yet, friend. Amen. Uh, that's okay. You, you believe. Amen. And that's counted to you for righteousness. Praise God. Amen. And you can say, I'm saved. Thank God I'm saved. Amen. But it's not until you endure to the end. The same shall be saved. That's what Jesus said. Wait a minute. Oh, I done blowed your mind. I'm sorry. God bless you. Amen. Uh, you're not saved yet. Amen. You haven't made it in yet amen you haven't run you haven't finished the faith of the race you haven't finished your course you haven't run the race you haven't finished the fight you haven't fought a good fight yet amen we're still fighting the fight of faith amen praise god Amen, praise God. So let's run. Let's get in a hurry. Amen, we must persevere. Amen, praise God. Those who make it to the finish line, amen, praise God, is going to, it's going to be the ones who enter in. Amen. Oh, don't you think, amen, that you already got it made, honey? I'm going to heaven, preacher. You don't know me, see. I'm somebody special. Hey, you ain't nobody special, amen, until God, amen, makes you a special one. Amen, a begotten one. Amen, you are begotten by the word of God. Amen, praise God. And that's what makes you special. Amen, Jesus was the only begotten of the Father, praise God, full of grace and truth. Amen, until you become that person, amen, that special person that God wants you to be and how do I get there amen you run the race with patience amen with temperance amen you strive for the mastery praise God you run this race with patience amen those who make it to the finish line amen praise God Paul said I've fought a good fight I've finished my course I've kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give at that day, amen, praise God, amen, and not only to me, amen, but to all, amen, who love his appearing. Are you one of those that love his appearing, is going to love his appearing? Amen, praise God, he's, he's looking for a people, amen, that are watching and waiting, amen, waiting on his return, uh, watching toward the eastern skies, waiting for them to split wide open, amen, praise God, and every eye shall behold him, amen, huh? 
I know they talk about a secret catch, catching away and all this uh, flowery kind of peace, love kind of thing. Amen. But I'm telling you what. Amen. Every eye shall behold him. Even them that pierced him is going to stand before God. Amen. Praise God. All right. Amen. All right. So it says uh, there is a prize that has been appointed. Amen. For those who do not stray from the path. Amen. But stay focused on the prize. Are you focused? Are you focused on the prize? You better keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> Amen. They talked about a commercial uh, not too long ago about McDonald's. Amen. Saying keep your eyes on your fries. You better keep your eyes on the prize. That's what you better do. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Ah, uh, yes. Amen. For we are in competition with the flesh. Amen. Against this world. Amen. Amen. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Aren't you glad of that tonight? I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Can you say that to yourself? Lord, I'm in this world, but I'm not of the world. I don't want to be of the world. I want to be more like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Strive for the mastery. Amen. Be temperate in all things. Praise God. We'll try to finish. Well, and we'll try to give you a little bit more of this next week. Good Lord willing. Amen. Ah, uh, yes, Lord. And, and so until next Monday night from 7 to 8 p.m., I've been your host, evangelist, and pastor of the Ark Christian Fellowship, Chuck Gibson. Until next week, God bless and keep you is our prayer. Amen.